What's up guys? I finally got Horseshoe Curve pretty much done uh, after a month and a half. I've been kind of taking a break from working on trains. The next couple weeks I'll be working on the yard itself because I'm going to redo that. But as you can see, I finally got Horseshoe Curve done at least through the curve part itself. Now I just have this last little leg of the horseshoe left to do. Then it'll go up and around the corner and down and back and this won't be a real long video because for now i just want to do quick updates i'll do more in-depth videos when i actually get the scenery which hopefully will be this summer but i'm gonna show you guys how i run helpers hopefully i have this going in the right direction because i gotta sync these up with uh, one hand which is not easy and i'm just using Conrail is a switcher right now just because it, just because I have it there. I was using it as a track cleaner earlier, but I want to use it as a helper for now. So you might have been able to hear the train pick up a bit. So now it's got some help at this point. I should probably turn on the light. At this point, it would be coming up and out of the tunnel there. It'll just come out, of, out from behind a mountain. I don't, I don't have any sound on this engine right now. I have it muted just so that you can hear me because it's pretty noisy. But all in all, it looks pretty neat. I really like the way this curve turned out. The whole thing's super elevated just the way it was built. So I don't even have to, I didn't even have to super elevate the track or anything. The foam itself was kind of curved in the, the entire way. And what the heck, I'll turn on sound for the last little bit. This, these are the only engines I really have running right now. I still have a lot of work to do with engines, but getting there. At least I got the curb done. So that'll do it for this video. It's literally nothing more than a quick update. As you can see, I got all three tracks of the curve done and it looks pretty good. 